In this video, we're gonna look at the parallax effect when your website moves between layers. It looks really cool on modern websites. Let's see how you can do it really easily. Hey, it's Ashley again from Mad Lemmings and today we're giving you another awesome WordPress video. We're gonna show you how to create stunning web pages using the Thrive Architect plugin. Now, if you guys haven't heard about this plugin, it's a really cool drag and drop visual page builder where you can create awesome web pages really, really fast without designer skills. And today I'm gonna to walk you through the parallax effect to show you how you can make parallax home pages copying this page from Fusion Wi-Fi and they have a really cool parallax page here which we're going to reproduce at least the first couple of sections and I'm going to show you what the parallax can look like and how easy it is to create. So this is their home page here and as you can see if I slide up the image in the background stays still and then the other sections and text scroll above it. So I'm actually just moving my mouse a bit here and you can see the smooth effect where the picture stays still and everything goes above it. And then if we keep going, they have another one appearing below. So this looks really, really sexy and really nice and modern for a home page. And you would think it would require a designer such as myself to come in and spend thousands of dollars to get this done. But actually using Thrive Architect, you can do this really quickly and really, really easily. So let's jump in and reproduce this. I've already downloaded the pictures and figured out what fonts they're using. So we're gonna be pretty quick to produce this. And I'm gonna walk you through right now. The first thing you need is a background section. Now the background sections in Thrive Architect are really good for when you want those full width colors or pictures in a page, such as your home page or a landing page. If you're just having text on a white background with columns, then you just use columns. You don't need to use a background section, but the full width sections you need this for. So we're gonna have a full width picture. So first of all, we wanna click stretch to full width. And we're gonna give it a bit of a height, which you don't need to do, unless you're trying to force a specific height, which we won't be. But it just allows me to play around with this more visually. So I'm just gonna give myself some height there and then I'm gonna go down to the background style and choose a picture. I've grabbed the picture of the girl there. And we're going to click the static background image under the drop down here, which is what causes it to stay still when we scroll. Static means not moving, so this picture will not move when you scroll, which is really, really cool and creates that parallax effect. So now what we need to do is get out of there. That's pretty much all we need for the picture. Now we need to create a content box, which we're gonna to use to contain the text we need so that the text doesn't go across the whole page. So I'm gonna grab a content box and throw it in to, sometimes I miss, I'm gonna throw it into the middle of the picture and then I'm going to edit that and do a maximum width of about 450. It's don't have to be super accurate here at the moment. And then I'm gonna put a heading in there, in that box. And we're gonna paste in their text and then we're gonna change that to a white color and make it bold and then change the font here. As we know, we can choose Google fonts, which is what we want. And then we want to do a search for the Dosis or Dosis, I'm not sure what it's called, font, which is what they're using. And we want that to be bold 700, which I've chosen in a quick test to do this. And we want to increase the font to about 70. So now if we go to their page, you can see we're getting pretty close. I mean, of course, we're a bit off to the left because, uh, yeah, they've got a full width picture here and we're restricted to within the panel here, but it's more or less what we're after. And then we want is another piece of text below that with another piece of text from them. And this is done using Lato font, which is the standard font in Thrive Architect. So we want to make that bold again, probably, and turn it white. And 
there's a little bit too much of a margin in there so I am going to reduce that and increase the bottom margin and make it about what font is that we have font size of 18 let's go up to about 30 and reduce the line height a bit the line height is the spacing between the lines so that's more or less what they have they're not using bold so let's reduce that and it's a bit bigger and they seem to be using a font weight of actually less than Lato so we can change that not sure if I can do the font weight in here I might need to import another font which I'm not going to do so we'll just leave that like that for the moment that's good enough but actually I think they're using a slightly less than standard font thinness or thickness in this case it's thinner it's probably a 200 font so we would need to thin that down a little bit to get an exact copy but we've more or less recreated now the parallax top section now we want to create some columns for the bottom section so what we're after here is this picture and then this text so we actually want a two-thirds one-third column where the one-third is on the right and then we want to go and dump a picture on the right hand side and then grab the picture I've downloaded from their website which is this one here and as you can see we're more or less getting exactly what they're getting there pictures may be a little bit too big we could scale that down you can either do it specifically or just using the slider I would get that a bit smaller it's a bit huge not a huge fan of having pictures that are just massive and now we need to dump some text into this block here and copy their other text and there's obviously some different sizes and stuff in here um, maybe make that bold and increase that bigger and then they also have the customer data a bit bigger so make that bold and a bit bigger and change the line height that's the whole thing so that's not going to work you'd probably want to break that up into paragraphs and, and sections to do that properly but let's just do that and actually increase the top margin to bring the text down a little bit so that it aligns with the image which I'm sure they have done actually they've gone a little bit below the image and they may not be using Lato for that heading. It may be the DOSIS heading. And then we can put some more text down there and some more columns with images. Very, very simple blue background. So we can actually quickly do that as well. If you would like to see that, I would just grab another background section, put that on the bottom. So we want stretched forward section. okay now that's correct and now we want to put in four columns so we will now grab four columns and then what you would do is grab four of these pictures if you had them and drop them in to each column now obviously these don't have uh, transparent backgrounds they have white backgrounds which is a bad idea and so you can see that showing up here but if we reproduce these pictures here and just copy them across you start to see how you would do that I'd make them smaller and put the headings on and then do another parallel sec parallax section here with another restricted content box on the left of course you need to check all of this in mobile make sure it's working and that everything looks good and you need to put a menu on the top here but that's basically it for the para 
parallax uh, section. We can quickly preview this, see how close I've come. I'm going to delete this second one here. We need a little icon actually. Let's just quickly grab an icon, put that below here, and they have a down arrow. So let's just grab the down arrow and make that white. So it's not exactly the same arrow. I believe they're using Divi, which has a particular kind of arrow. And I would maybe give myself a bit more uh, padding on the bottom here and a bit less padding on the top, which also needs to be reduced here. So we have more or less the same thing here with the arrow, which then says scroll down. So if we do a quick preview of this, you can compare the two and see how well I have done. The preview is in here. So that's pretty, pretty close. And that took me 10 minutes. Of course, there's lots of fiddly stuff to get right here. It can take time and, and not always work exactly as you want, especially when you test it on mobile and different things, you want specific layouts. But basically, that is the parallax effect in Thrive Architect. So if you've enjoyed that and you want to see some other Thrive videos or learn some WordPress awesome stuff with plugins or SEO tips and tricks, because I also do a lot of really cool stuff with SEO for my clients, then you can follow me, subscribe using the subscribe button below the video and get the latest videos when they come out. See you in the next video.